The general is in the middle of a call when Colonel South comes in the room. He's got two privates with him, and they sweep that office for electronic listening devices and oh, throwaway phones with an audio maker. And then South says, General, if anyone asks you about America's easily documented hijacked lifelines, you don't know a thing. You've never known a thing about them. And another thing, if you or any other general has any connections to the Utah Mormon cult, official policy from Trump himself is don't ask don't tell. He leaves the office and the colonel gets back on the uh, general gets back on the phone and says, "Sorry, Donnie, I'll have to get back to you on that golfing date." Bambi is Colonel South's personal secretary, and she has dropped by the general's office, and she's on her way at the end of the day to her car. And a private in the hallway there says, Excuse me, ma'am, what's... And the sergeant right next to him says, Oh, never mind the private, Bambi. You have a good evening. Uh, yeah, the general's worried about his connections to the Mormon cult in Utah. And their ever-increasing active participation in America's high-tech lifelines around me, among elsewhere. And, yes, uh, Bambi is smuggling out his own personal copy of the cartoon Bible under her clothes. I'm Milton, son of a carpenter and Mary. Daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to tell parables. And also design graphic card. Milton's cool imagery can make you look cool too. Check it out on Daffodilia there. Download. Print me out as 4 by 6 photos. 28,000 on the way with this month, February 2019. You gotta find something you like in 27,000, uh, 28,000 on the way. Graphic art photos and girls. Yes, there are a few shirt off images. Jethro is at work when his phone rings. And he answers and he says, Oh, hi, Mom. I was just thinking about you. I'm going to be coming over this weekend. And yes, I'm going to spend the whole day there. Not skipping out like sis does. Where are those insurance papers? Why they're under the china cabinet in that drawer there? Where are... Where is your life insurance policy? It's in the, the closet and your big box of papers. Why do you need all that? Your new friends, Lori, Lynn, and Priscilla, Mormon church princesses, missionaries want to know. Mom, I'll be right over. Susan pulls aside her curtains just far enough to zoom in with her phone and make a video of some Mormons, missionaries, cased in her neighborhood. And she says, these cult members terrify me. If I look out the door and see them, I don't answer that door. But they have caught me taking groceries in from my car. And we all know they will not take no for an answer. She explains he's a single woman living alone, running an internet business from there. And uh, those have told her, there are folks who have told her that 
they're just uh, harmless religious fanatics from Utah, and she says so were Jim Jones and Charlie Manson, Sex and Post Supplies, with them in that viewfinder and her business phone. Once he zooms back out, not reach me, not one nine eleven flight nine three taking over a decade of asking. Make that video of America's High Tech Lifelines post. And wallpaper your neighborhood with these. So all of your neighbors, a mill, not designed this. It's a military pit bull project image. So all of your neighbors can tell the Mormons exactly what to think of them. Two soldiers are making a video with their phones, taking photos with their phones of pallets and pallets full of mail addressed to me, Melton, John Melton Brady. 4260 Eureka Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. And uh, all of a sudden they hear somebody walking up, so they go back behind them one of the pallets and it's Colonel South he's on the phone to the general he says oh don't worry about it I'm taking care of it right now gets up on a forklift picks up those uh, pallets of mail rolls out onto that deck and uh, dumps it into the ocean hey the mail's got to be going somewhere certified the eyes are the windows to the soul let mine take a picture of yours so we can design some imagery for the angels to sing to. Yes, yeah, just a, an ugly rumor started by that angry brunette across the street, told to the two hot blondes he was talking to. Come see me in person to be a part of Mountain's imagery. Yeah, 4260 Egorek Boulevard, Department 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Look for the handsome ball guy. Wearing his imagery, be in that imagery. All of you attractive blonde and near blonde girls out there, remember that beautiful dream that disappeared with the morning light. Yeah, that was me. I'm Melton, son of a corporate Mary. Daddy corporate worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a corporate Mary. I get to tell parables. And I also can, you know, get the angels to send you beautiful dreams. Try to call me. 424-229-4140. See that devil. Steal it. Out with the devil. Don't let the devil steal beauty from this world. Amanda, Ashley, Elizabeth, come see me in person. And let me define graphic art with your beauty. Oh, there she is. Trump is speaking at a fancy college political event telling all the students what they should think when the general catches up to him he tells them melton has posted january 2019 trump's phone gate not only that he's telling all americans to call up all generals and ask them why America's lifelines are being hijacked and why they aren't doing something about that and to demonstrate by trying to call Melton via speakerphone. And Trump says, that's serious. I got to call up my boss. And the general says, you can't call up the Kremlin from all these folks. He says, I'm not doing that. He says, you can't call up the devil either. And Trump says, oh, I'm not calling her up either. And he picks up that phone and starts jabbering in Mandarin Chinese. Someone has called in to a shock jocks show. And he asked him, what do you think about Stone Cold Melton, John Melton Brady, son of Corp. Mary? 
he says some shocking things. And the shock jock says, well, I say a lot of shocking things, too. When you know what the difference is, you can call me up and tell me what you think about what I say. Milton, Stone Cold Milton, has been telling the truth about that religious censorship that placed the cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins with 9 11. He is why we need to mobilize to prevent the Mormons from staging another 9 11 with their Muslim brothers from the Mideast from Utah. I'll do that. So Sarge asked the private, did you give that report to the general like I told you to? And the private says, yes, sir. He was on this fancy video call with the president. Really? What was Trump wearing? Fancy formal thing? And the private says, no, Putin. Caught him on the throne, huh? In a video call? No. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. And they were both jabbering in that funny language. Russian? They were both talking in Russian? No. Chinese. So the Pope is talking to to priests in America. He says, did you talk to Milton's sister? She can't be as bad as he says in those videos. And one of the priests says, yeah, well, we did. And she spun her head around, then spat out some type of green soup at us then said some mean things about our mothers and you then uh, went back in the trailer we'll go talk to Melton in LA he's very easy going yeah I'm here 24 7 apartment 409 if I'm not here I'm across the street to be right back The general is out on the golf course when he gets a call. He answers and says, No, I don't know anything about John Melton Brady, Stone Cold Melton, Sunk Carpenter Mary, not getting one 9 11 Flight 93 taking over a decade of asking. Who gave you this number? Your boss did. Well, I am a very important man and I am doing very important work right now. And I don't need you interrupting it with your truth about America's hijacked lifelines and how it compromises our security. You've got a very important job to do too. You took vows. You're protecting your flock. And you're pointing out how I am not protecting America as regards to the phone. Well, yes, he does have. Oh, gold is wheelchair. The Center Five World Trade Center fire engine pointing out censorship. Not one 9 11 flight 93 check. In over a decade of asking, I'm Melton. And I've been asking for those 93 checks of America's lifelines for over a decade and yet to get one. Those still in your calls to me are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up. Get the Mormons, Husseins, I always saw those bad taste placing a cowardly Hussein, in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. Get Trump's phone gate as well, and of course the Mormons. Oh, print these out. They come in four by six uh, version, a little cheaper to print out. Wallpaper your neighborhood so that uh, you can hand the Mormons these 
graphic art photos I've designed, telling them exactly what we all think of them. 424-229-4140, make that video of your hijack call to me, certify your mail. No certified mail about those 93 checks in over a decade of asking. And yes, the Mormons are constant presence around me during those uh, 93 check less decades. Come see me at Whitwood Travel Center, perfect place to build. And yes, make that video. You got the timestamp on your phone. Oh, to build Jesus as a Immaculate House. The kind of stuff cowardly Hussein's don't like. Show me that perfect place to build and yeah, you got the timestamp on your phone, you got the number dial. They were are worried enough about their crimes to all the phone records covered up, but you got that on video. Post YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, a hundred more, tell everyone to check and post in just five minutes. A great undertaking is taking place. All of the tribes of man, the nations, the different peoples, except one, is, is there. And Abraham walks up to Adam and he says, what are you all doing here? And Adam tells him, we're building this great wall to prevent the lies and the treachery of the Chinese from spreading to the four corners of the world. Unfortunately, the effort was not successful. Son of a carpenter and Mary. Dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables. And when I was growing up, my family would tell me that the reason there was not that many photos of me as a baby was because every time somebody went to take my photo, I'd yell and scream, and they just didn't bother. Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I distinctly remember a doctor taking my photo back in the 60s, the 1960s, they made him dress funny, had this really tall hat. And he made faces until I smiled. And then he took the photo. Oh, these are my photos. My graphic art. A Jared is just your average Utonian Mormon excited about going on his mission right now. He's cussing up a storm in his bedroom. Gosh darn it, where the heck is it? Mom comes to the door and says, where is what, honey? And Jared says, my ski mask, I need it on my mission. And mom says, well, I had to clean it, it was dirty. I have it back in time for your mission, but do you really think you're gonna find a lot of places to ski in Florida? I'm Melton, and I've been asking for 911 flight 93 checks as you picking up the phone, reaching me with it. Do that right now. And knowing your phone's allowed to work all the time. So those hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about to all the phone records covered up. They're crimes. Get that on video. Trumps, Husseins, and the Mormons. They'll be along around long after. Phone gate. Ralph knows. That the Mormons, LDS, Latter day Sinners, are active in political, religious, business, and lifeline. Phone. Censorship all across America. And he also knows that they can't lie uh, very well and they're not good at not being subtle. So when he goes into the break room and he sees Jared, a praying, our Heavenly Father, please don't let our missionaries get caught a raping or a stealing. In Jesus' name, we just respectfully pray. He comes right out and asks him, I know you got a lot of your Muslim brothers in Utah on those college campuses and elsewhere. Are you planning another 9-11 from Utah? And yeah, Jared kind of looks around and he doesn't know. Oh well, gosh, I don't know what. No! Citizen has called up 
a California law enforcement officer, asking about me, Melton, and those 911 Flight 93 checks I haven't gotten one in over a decade of asking. And the officer says, I know all about that. Nothing I can do about it. And yeah, I also know she asks as well about the harassment techniques conducted with Spectrum next door to the man and the Mormons. Oh, the Mormons have been bit slapping California's law enforcement and government for a while now. I'm going to email you a list of the top Mormons in Utah, especially those state troopers who a lot of whom spend a lot of time in California. You check with them, ask them, what's your part in America's High Take Lifelines? They know all about it. Get it out of Frank and Jack are talking. And Frank says, did you see that in the news? What are the odds? Two different celebrities dying in different plane crashes. So close together. And Jack says, well, coincidences happen. Then, you know, a little ways down the road, they meet again, and Frank says, did you see that? What are the odds of two celebrities dying skiing so close together? And Jack says, oh, my God, what have the Chinese done? And Frank says, you think that's the Chinese? He said, oh, I know it. They're brought up in caves in the streets, our unseen business. They don't read papers. They don't see the news. They don't know how obvious they can be about some things. They're Chinese. Uh, one of my artwork videos showing off my 4 by 6 photos here was butchered by those with high-tech toys on hand. I know because I made sure to check because the print's small. They hate my photos, which you can find at some of the sites you might see on these things. Enough to do that. And you have to think of this as me. Oh, imagery link's a good place to follow the links. Find 27,000 examples of my graphic art photos. You need to think of this, me making four more for the one that was butchered as you know, taking a bad dog and rubbing his nose and what he has done and using that paper on him. Except these are what I say often. Great wall of evil is pathetic. Chinese losers doing this instead of a dog. It's the 70s, the 1970s, and a streetwise doctor walks up to a young intern, dead on his feet, half asleep, and he tells him, I want to show you something. And he takes him, he shows him the footage of Jonestown. And he says, how many victims of poisoning do you see without something coming out of one end or the other? Look how clean those clothes are. And just then a nurse walks up beside him and she says, oh my God, what have the Chinese done? Remember guys, Utah is a whole lot bigger than Jonestown. Make those videos of your phone not working as those Mormons are casing your neighborhood. Post. The men in the shadows with the light of truth. Follow that rainbow. Come see me in person. I'll get you some nice imagery. I'm me and Goldwell. Uh, yes, I'm growing a new pair of eyes. Whole new body. That's the son of a corporate Mary and I Yeah, I need gold right now. Very painful with the muscles. So come see me in gold and uh, be in Melton's imagery. And remember to make that video if you had that call to me. Not one, not eleven, flight nine, three, check in a decade of asking. No certified mail, no non certified mail in that time about those ninety three checks either. Certify that mail to me as well.
sunglasses girls that's the answer if you're worried about looking directly at the dome and melting when you come to see me and you got to see me in person because the devil steals your calls see for yourself 424-229-4140 if you're worried about that, don't worry. Just bring your sunglasses. Photo of your car. Favorite flower. Let Melton, the guy with the changing eyes, the stigmata eyes, let me turn your favorite flower into a forever flower. Never have to water it again. I am Melton. Son of a carpenter, Mary. Dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables. And I'm here to tell you, don't waste your time with those trace your ancestors places. I went to one one time. And the guy did the test. And he goes, oh, something must be wrong. I got to do the test again. Then he said, no way. Then he gave me my money back. He said, the test this isn't working today. Come see me to be in this imagery, to be in these Son of a Carpenter and Mary parables. Yeah, I know. I make them look cool. Come see me in person. Let me design some imagery around you and your sun flies. 4260 Egret Boulevard, Department 409, Los Angeles, California. 90065 John Milton Breeze, the floor name Elton. He grew up in the neighborhood in northern Los Angeles. Y'all need to come see me in person because you're going to try to call me. 424 229 4140. And you're going to see the devil stealing your southern glass image. Mormon missionaries have knocked on Granny's door. She opens it up and they think they got a live one. Yeah, guys, I hear when the Mormon missionaries are casing neighborhoods across the country, your phones are not allowed to work in case they decide to go on a crime spree. Don't take my word for it. Next time the Mormons are in your, uh, your neighborhood, make a video of them outside, and your phone not working as you try to call me, I'm Melton, John Melton Brady. And as they're doing that, uh, she says, I wish you'd write us off your cult sales route. And Jim J., one of the missionaries, says, well, we'll just, you know, drum up business for our church. And she said, well, so with Charles Manson and Jim Jones. Oh, smile. She points over to the living room. Uh, Grandpa's making a video of him. Adana is a rape victim. And she makes a video of Mormons casing her neighborhood because she heard that their phone's not allowed to work. They often turn off phones in neighborhoods that the Mormons are casing in case they go on a crime spree. And she says these Mormon cult members from Utah here terrify me. And she makes that video of your high tech call to me. Not one 911 plate 93 check call in over a decade of asking. Those hijacking calls to me are worried enough about their crimes getting caught for them. They alter phone where it's covered up. Get the Mormons, Husseins, and Trump's phone gate on video. And yes, make videos of your phone not working with those Mormons case in your neighborhood. The cops in any town USA have pulled over. This gray car 
Yeah, it's Jim J and Charlie M, Mormon missionaries, and they've always got that attitude. Better than everyone else, they they say, "Why are you hassling us? We're just trying to do our job. Get church members for a church." And one of the cops says, "Yeah, well, so we're Jim Jones and Charlie Manson and." We've noticed a lot of unsolved rape, theft, and other assaults uh, coinciding with your missionary work. So we need to check things out. 424-229-4140, guys. Check out their active participation in America's High Tech Lifelines. This is my Tommy from last night, and I'm going to mute and play because my Tommy got altered a little bit. Tommy, the warm Chinese fella, happy to work with the unseen business, the street. You know where my phone fixes and leaves off. Pick up that phone, make a video of your phone not working as you try to call me. Video of someone else's phone. Anyway, Tommy's going to have to eat cold cat when he gets home. He's got the work play. He can't watch the stooges at work because Wu saw one of the Great Wall of Evil, Chinese evils, lapdog generals of the U.S., Someone had made a video of them being very un-American, being a part of disinformation perhaps about me asking for a 9-line flight and 3 check for over a decade and only getting insulin poisoning. And From that, they made a video of one of the generals being the exact opposite of what he should be. And it's on the internet and Tommy's going to have to go in and erase a lot of stuff. Uh, good luck with that, guys, because true Americans are going to get uh, post and repost truth. They're going to get it out on flash drives. DVDs, word of mouth, pages, pieces of paper. 911 Flight 93, check and post at 5 right now. 424-229-4140 and call up that general you know or don't know. And ask when else will my phone not be allowed to work if you don't know what a 911 Flight 93 check is? Melton asking for one for over a decade. If you don't know what one is, you're either incompetent or you're involved. Which is it? Get the reaction post. Be the reporter. Our reporters aren't doing their jobs either. Tommy, the no arm Chinese fella, average worker, the unseen business manager of the streets of the unseen business. You know where my fiction leaves off. He's angry. He can't watch the Stooges. He's going to have to work late. He can't. Uh, he's going to have to eat cold cat when he gets home. All because Wu saw something on the internet. You see, the Great Wall of Chinese evil has lapdog generals, and one of them, a true American, made a video of him active in one way shape form or another and America's hijack lifelines to me not getting a 911 flight 93 checking over a decade of asking so Tommy's gonna have to erase stuff on the internet left and right and good luck doing that because yeah true Americans are gonna get truth worldwide via flash drives internet and all kinds of other ways here's Simon he says, yes, I am again. 9-11 flight 93 check. I would say yes. And post. I hope the siren's still in there. Because um, I made a video this afternoon where it was removed. Oh, that's my funny general one that has with a lot of my parables. I'm Milton, son of a call from Mary. Dad called and worked on skyscrapers while Mary Ann. I'm son of a call from Mary. I get to tell parables. I've been asking for a 911 flight 93 check for over a decade, and I've yet to get one. Call up what general you know, Google. Maybe you can find their numbers and ask them, what do you know about this? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? Why are you incompetent in Homeland Security? I am Milton. And I've heard a country song a few times. And in it, the artist sings about going down 
to the bar and going down here going down there it's the refrain for the song and I heard in the middle of the concert a gal ran up on the stage and whispered in the singer's ear and you know gestured and he said no that is not what that means and he turns to his band and his band's you know nodding away and he says oh I can't believe that those Mormon missionaries were affirming me they said it'd be a great the song lyric this is my Stone Cold Melton John Milton Brady son of Carpenter Mary Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscrapers my Marianne my fun mean street fiction about Norman and Rodney uh, two cops from, from LA picking up a whole bunch of uh, rock chuckers who have been using high tech toys and Eagle Rock against yours truly and Rodney explains to the uh, rock chuckers yeah when the rest of the country hears about LA cops being bit slapped by rock chuckers the criminals come here and they don't respect us either on the stage or the streets you don't see business and uh, Dan there steps up and he says oh I'm with the military guys I'm with the military and it doesn't work because uh, Norman hated this sergeant in the military Milton, son of a carpenter Mary daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers mom Mary Ann I'm son of a carpenter Mary get to tell parables in this particular video is my fun fiction in which lots of folks go to the doctors of Los Angeles and California and worldwide and they explain Stone Cold feels like doctors as a whole don't understand pain don't have a respect for it he is one bad doctor slash hospital experience away from advocating that they include ball hanging as part of medical training you know where my fun stuff ends but check and post and five Tommy is a no-arm Chinese fella how do you get to be missing both arms his boss Lou told him to stick his right arm into a wood chipper he did that lefty the left arm wisely jumped off leaving him with no arms but it was a test of loyalty so he is bossing a whole lot of folks around on the streets Leah is one of those folks and she's gotten back from lunch early and she hears Tommy in his office with Lou uh, Lou's the oriental nose picker well just about all of them are oriental nose pickers but she's in there with Tommy and Tommy says oh that's great Lou you know just how to do that that's perfect and oh yes oh yeah that's great she bursts in she says hey if you don't stop what you're doing right now I'm gonna tell Rhea and she looks over and Lou's a, a pick in Tommy's nose and she says oh never mind as long as you don't order me to do that I am Milton son of a carpenter and Mary and in this parable I'm going to tell you all about Chinese balls in case you don't know let me illustrate with a popular song lately it preaches against domestic violence and that's a very good thing but throughout the song the refrain is she's just a woman the refrain isn't is not don't hit a lady or anything like that it is she's just a woman which is of course the Muslim PR campaign the Osama PR campaign alive and well in American pop culture what it means when Stone Cold Melton John Melton Brady some Carpenter Mary it says that the Mormons the rock chuckers 
are bit slapping LAPD and other California cops. Red is a street cop and he is explaining to a rookie that everybody knows about the one and only Stone Cold Melton, calmly and patiently waiting to start building Jesus' immaculate house. They sent cartoon cops pretending to be as to his door. And every time he says that, like today, this Sunday, it damages a reputation of both wearing a uniform or on the streets and what he calls the unseen business. Throw is at work and he gets a call and he says, Oh, hi, Mom. Wanted to tell you I'm coming over this weekend and I'm going to spend the whole day not skipping out like uh, sis does. Where are your insurance papers? Oh, they're in that china cabinet drawer. Where is your will? It's in your closet. In that big box of papers. Why do you need to know all that, Mom? You knew a friend, Lori Lynn and Priscilla, church princess missionaries. Uh, they want to know where all that is, Mom. I'll be right over. The general is out on the golf course when his phone rings. He answers it and he says, no, I do not know about Stone Cold Melton. John Melton Brady, son of a carpenter, married dad of carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables. I get to tell you the truth about America's hijacked lifelines. The general says, no, I do not know anything about that. Him asking for 9-11 Flight 93 checks of America's lifelines for over a decade and not getting one. Who gave you this number? Oh, your boss gave you this number. Well, you tell your boss that I am a very important man. Doing very important work right now. And he looks around at the golf course. I do not need to have my time interrupted to have you bothering me. with your truth about America's hijacked lifelines and how that compromises our national security, our homeland security. You have very important work to do too. You took vows. And you must protect your flock. And you're doing that by pointing out that I'm not doing my job of protecting America from that internal threat, the hijacking of America's lifelines. And yes, then the general just gives up. He hangs up. He's going to try changing that number again, but that other guy's boss is going to get him that number so that uh, that priest and uh, all of his parishioners, all of his whatever they might have in their church so they can call up the general, oh, all of them, and other folks, and get their position 
on America's hijack lifelines. Yeah, I'm the guy that tells you I always thought it was bad taste placing someone named Hussein. What? Mm. Putting a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. And I don't approve of the buffoon wrestling guy. Trump, they got in there now building the Great Wall of China. And I hear he's also going to be putting up some pyramids. Who knows what the hell he's doing? He's a figurehead. He's something to... For those comedians to make jokes about. And give everyone something to talk about this side. Our hijack lifelines. Hussein's uh, no longer there. Trump won't be there. Uh, hopefully after this, uh, these four years. Or maybe sooner. Depending on his uh, position on hijacking America's lifelines. And that's how... Both of them got placed in the highest office in the world. Can't reach me right now, 424-229-4140. You don't know how many other folks you can't reach to tell who they should vote for or what they should vote for. So yes, they placed both of them. And both of them will be long gone. And Those folks who run the country and are responsible for our national security. Long before Hussein and long after uh, Trump. They need to do their jobs. Do you know how that makes you look, all of you generals? I've been asking for 911 Flight 93 checks for over a decade. I have yet to get one. Timestamp on your phone, number dialed. Those hijacking America's lifelines are worried enough about their crimes and getting caught for them to alter phone records covered up. But all of America can get that on video. Timestamp on your phone, number dialed, certify email, not one bit of certified mail, no FedEx, no UPS, no private carriers. You're going to make that, send that mail, certify it, get it on video. But yeah, it takes five minutes. Whoever's in the room, they're with you. Make the video of your, their hijacked lifeline, timestamp on your phone, number dialed, turn around, let them make the video of your hijacked lifeline. And yes, call up those folks. Get them. The ones who aren't uh, part of the cartoon circus in Washington. Get them on video, on audio. What do you know? What are you doing about America's hijack lifelines? What else will my phone, my family, my child's lifeline not be allowed to work? Do you not think that compromises? America's security if say a whole lot of uh, dangerous folks from the Mideast are coming out of Utah and uh, someone gets on the phone to uh, call you up general and his phone's not allowed to work do you not think that uh, compromises our national security Semper Fi, aim high, fly, fight, win. This we will defend. Defend America with truth about our hijack lifelines. About placing in the highest office in the world. Get that video. 424-229-4140. Post. Oh, the other number there is the California lifeline phone. I get it because my livelihood's hijacked. I'm poor. Oh, yours is too. You can't reach me. I have no idea how many other customers you can't reach. Money out of your pocket so those at the top of the business you're in, whatever that great wall of Chinese evil wants to be at the top so they can get those calls in. They can get that business. Make that video, post that video. The most important thing is your lifeline being hijacked and ask that general you know and look for numbers to call. Ask them, what are you doing about America's hijack lifelines?
When else will our lifelines be hijacked? And why does that man in California, in Eagle Rock, not get decent medical attention when he needs it? Yeah, I'm the guy, uh, medical research being passed by. Growing that new pair of eyes. Call it whatever you want, doesn't matter what's going on with my eyes. When you can't reach me, you don't know when else that phone won't be allowed to work or why it's not allowed to work. Maybe you're a Republican or a Democrat. Or maybe uh, you're not the top of your business. Doesn't matter what it is. Most important thing is your phone's not working. And you don't know when else it won't be allowed to work. So make that video and get everyone on video weighing in on that dangerous censorship that affects America, our security. We the people must be the reporters. They're not doing their job to call me up in front of reporters and post whatever it is they say.